Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. We are going to create a new playlist where we are going to cover complete end to end Power BI project. In the real time, where do we start? How do you get the requirement? How do you load the data? How do you report it? And how do you publish it? Everything we are going to see step by step. So, initially, we'll start with what are the project steps first of all if you're working for a client when you are working for a service based company you will be reporting to certain clients client a client p client x irrespective of whichever domain they are healthcare telecom banking e-commerce it could be any domain any client the first step is you will be getting requirement in the form of a document there will be two documents that you will be receiving one is called brd which is business requirement document and one is frd which is functional requirement document now two different documents one there will be a clear picture of all the steps all the business needs all the business use case everything will be mentioned which will be business requirement document and there is a functional requirement document as well where you'll be given the steps or you'll be given the calculations or you'll be given the approach how you have to take forward the report so usually most of the clients follow one document where they'll combine both functional requirement and business requirement into one single document so this will be the first step post this understanding the requirement you will be collecting the data from different sources remember one thing no client is going to give you a ready-made data or no client is going to give the data in one sheet no that will never happen data will be present in multiple sources some can come from excel some can come from csv and even some can come from database so how do you get it in a team there will be SQL developers or a data engineers who will help you to get the right data. If not, you have to dig and you have to get the right data based on the requirement. Post you get the data from different sources. The next thing is you have to connect the dots. You have to connect the tables. For that, you need data modeling. So data modeling is very important. It creates a relationship between the tables from different sources. So this is a very important step. Post this, you will be following a report. Now, let's say data modeling is done. Now, post this data modeling, you observe that the data is not in the clean format. Some null values are there or some mismatch is there. Some corrections is required. So those type of things, or maybe some additional columns was required, transformation was required, all these things you'll be doing post your modeling. So there is a debate going on between the data modeling comes first or data cleaning comes first, irrespective of whatever it is, these two steps can be clubbed into one. Either you do data cleaning first and then you do data modeling, or first you follow the data modeling and then you come up with data cleaning. Both are interchangeable steps. Now, Requirement is there, data you collected, data modeling you've done, data cleaning is done. Now you have a ready-made data. Now the next step is you have to start creating your report. So you your report should be a user-friendly report. Anyone who uses your report has to understand complete end-to-end -end business. It should be with the beautiful colors, standard format, standard fonts and it should be readily viewable to clients so this type of report you need to build now there are 30 plus default charts 250 plus custom charts you have to come up with the right data for the right charts and you have to do the reporting now this is a very important part of the project where you're converting your raw data into insights so what we have heard about Power BI, it's a business intelligence tool which helps us to solve the business problem by using our reports. So this is a step where you need to concentrate more on your business understanding, converting into your information. 
post this there could be an additional requirements or you have to enhance your reports or you have to give some calculations or you want to transform something so all this can be done by right hand of the power bi which is dac functions maybe if you want to create a date master if you want to calculate the previous month sales if you want to calculate the last year sales if you want to calculate the growth of the sales year on year growth all these calculations will be added as a dac function now most of the reports are restricted to certain users with respect to certain locations so what we are going to do here is based on the user we will be restricting the report for that we'll be implementing something called row level security now this row level security if you ask me why i'm talking so early it's because in power bi service directly you cannot give the security you have to implement in desktop then only you have to push it to your power bi service that's why it's coming as a early step now post this you have to create a workspace now why workspace everyone is doing the report in their own desktop now how do you collaborate within a team one person is taking care of dax functions one person is taking care of data cleaning one person is taking care of uh, data uh, like converting into charts now how do you collaborate to, with each other that is where you have to start using now power bi service now in power bi service we have to create a workspace so what is this workspace so workspace is a space which will be shared across the all team members within a project now based on what development they are doing you will be giving access to the workspace as well once you have done the given the access or you have created a workspace you have to push your report to the workspace that is nothing but your publish so publishing will be the report that will be moved from your desktop to your service now let's say your report is also published what is the next step now you may have multiple reports you may have sales reports you have you may have customer reports you may have retail reports you could have be having n number of reports everything you can club into one single page application that is called dashboard so then we will be creating a dashboard when you are creating a dashboard some of the clients nowadays are asking for mobile view as well in case they are traveling frequently from one country to another they want to keep track of what is been happening in the business they want to see in a mobile view that is something which will be creating as part of the dashboard as well now once this data is been uh, once this report is been moved to the service you have implemented the dashboard as well the next is the data has to be refreshed wherever the data is that has to be updated in a power bi service that is where your refreshing comes into picture but remember one thing directly you cannot create a refresh you have to create a gateway gateway is a connectivity between wherever the source is there and the service you will be creating a gateway post that gateway you will be creating a refresh so refresh maybe you can uh, do it on a daily basis weekly basis weekly thrice so depending on your client's requirement you can set up a refresh refresh will automatically automatically go and update your data it is like an alarm clock where every day if you set up the time every day that time the data refresh will happen the source data will be flowing from the source tables to the power bi service so that is nothing but my refresh so post this we have already created a rls right so we will be adding the roles as per the users whichever location they belong to whichever country they belong to you will be giving roles for them now there are many features you can set some subscribe you can you can set you can set up some alerts and you can some get some insights so all this something which will be exploring in the later part but all this you can do at this step after that you will be sharing the report so finally you will be sharing the report some of the clients will just ask the report or some of the clients will ask as a complete app app is a application so finally you will be creating a app 
app may be consisting of reports dashboard mobile view it is called as a final product and then we will be sharing to the end users now whether you work in google or you work in amazon or you work in flipkart or you work in any bank any project these steps will never change throughout any project there could be an interchange either data cleaning may first comes first or the data modeling can come first but irrespective of any project this steps will never change remember these steps this is how the complete project will be built in the real time now post this we are going to create one complete end to end project we will be dividing into four parts when i say four parts it's going to be four videos one video we will start with the requirement gathering and the data collection how to load the data how can we get the data from different sources how to get into power bi all these things we will be discussing as a part 1 and in the part 2 we will go with the data transformations as well as we will be doing some calculations using dax and part 3 we will be building a complete report with a beautiful ui that will be shown to the real time end users as a clients and finally we are going to publish this report as a app so these are the four parts which we will be doing as part of the project so please stay tuned please subscribe to get all the latest videos and we will be creating every video for this every topic so please make sure you watch the complete playlist thank you